Shout out to me, Liddy. Hey. and Paramount decided to pull Boomerang out of the vault and say, hey, we're going to make 10 episodes of a show. It's a new take on Boomerang, something fresh for a new generation. Ben Jones, who had been writing on shows for so long, like Underground, Hand of God, obviously Insecure for the last few seasons, I wanted to step up and say, let's let this guy be our showrunner. BET and Paramount really trusted me, and they said, sure. And I think for a showrunner to look like him, I think it's really important and significant. Hello. How you doing? Let's finish where we left off. Nine tackles me too. How's this affecting our characters the most? Boomerang was a movie that I always enjoyed. When we realized we were going to be doing a recharge of the movie, we tried to figure out how can we make something new and fresh. Our thought, Lena and I, uh, was to take the iconic characters from the film, but follow their 26-year-old offspring of these uh, major characters as they're living in Atlanta and working in advertising. We all got in a room every day and talked about things that we thought were interesting and talked about what these characters wanted and what their traumas were. And I kept saying, I really like grounded, grounded, low to the ground material because that's what really makes people lean in and connect to, to material. What the film did a great job with, which it was a brilliantly done romantic comedy, which is what we're making a romantic comedy TV show. What can we say about what it takes to genuinely connect with someone in this sort of age of non-connectivity? Every generation struggles with the new age, like what does it mean to be dating? What is dating? What is a relationship? What's interesting on this show is I think we're treating our characters as millennials, but who are still a little bit nostalgic and old school and believe in romance and believe in love. As we were reading scripts and reading samples from people, we just wanted people who had like a quirky sensibility. You have to have writers who kind of will explore parts of their imagination that you haven't seen on TV before. I just think people are gonna be blown away by it. They're gonna really kind of go, huh, that's, that's interesting, that's unexpected. I think by the time people get to episode four or five, they're gonna be invested in these characters.